Do any of these feelings sound familiar? Are you feeling completely overwhelmed by your house and need to find some major cleaning motivation to just get you going today? Are you swimming in your kids' hand-me-downs and don't have a clue what to do with them or how to store them? Do you have toys and stuff everywhere and all you want to do is feel a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day? Well, you are not alone and you've definitely come to the right place because today we are tackling all of those scenarios as we clean this messy house by getting some spaces tidied up, getting them back in order, and then we will be tackling the never-ending kids hand-me-down clothing shuffle in my baby's closet. So if you want a friend to clean alongside you today, or if you just want to relax and watch me clean and let that motivation build, either way, you are going to leave this video motivated and ready to tackle whatever the day may bring. So let's get to it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type content. And let's dive in. This is gonna drive me nuts and Dallas will be napping probably until close to the time I get the big kids from school. So not terrible right here. Our shoe baskets are overflowing. That is a declutter job I will be doing soon. And then this is not as bad as it's been. This is a little bit better than I've seen some days. So we've just got little things, you know, whatever he can reach. <laughs> just kinda <laughs> gets into but I just wanted to show you guys because I don't want you to think I live in any sort of pristine perfect house all the time I think you guys have figured out that I don't by now <laughs> and then we've got a box from our painting that I will show you guys very soon Starting out in my family room, tidying up, and a trick that I use for me to help me stay on task is set a timer. So I've set a 15 minute timer, and I'm coming through tidying up this area. I'm shaking out the nativity people out of the ball toy, because Dallas had shoved a bunch of the little nativity people into that toy. But I'm just tidying everything up. I just need this to feel better when I'm working on other things in the house, if it's not just a complete chaotic mess so I have to just tidy things up to make me feel better and more accomplished so that is what I am doing I've got a timer going then I wanted to come over here and show you guys this is the Fisher Price little people nativity set and it is a wonderful gift it's just a toy that all of my kids have enjoyed they're ages six five and one all of them have played with it it's got a renewed sense of joy this year because Dallas is playing with it and loving it it's great for kind of all ages my big kids still really like it so if you need a good little toy this holiday season the little people nativity scene is a great one If you're looking for a fun little candy to have out this year, I found the Hershey Kisses, just the regular chocolate ones, mixed with the Hershey's Candy Cane Kisses in a bowl together and then eat them together. My whole family loved this combination. My husband was actually the one who said, try one of each together. It's so good. My mom loved it when she came over too. And well, they just didn't last very long in our house. So fun little treat to put out this holiday season. Christmas came early at my house and my husband got me this Tenco 
iFloor 2 that I have been wanting forever. It's a mop vacuum. I will be sharing it with you guys very soon, but I was finally moving it out of the kitchen and into our laundry room, making a little home for it. I am loving this machine. I love it so much. So I was moving it into the laundry room because it had been sitting in the middle of our kitchen and just kind of trying to tidy up the laundry room just a little bit. This kind of is our dumping ground for a lot of things in our house. I don't know if your laundry room can tend to be that way too. So I was trying to tidy it up a little but not waste too much time because that really wasn't on my to-do list today. All right, my timer went off for 15 minutes and what you see behind me, this is just this kind of little surface in my kitchen is all that I haven't like tidied up. Now I have not deep cleaned. I haven't even like put the blankets back in their spot in the family room, but I was able to get everything almost picked up and it looks 10 times better. I'm gonna finish clearing the counters. I'm not doing any deep cleaning or anything right now. I'm just doing a tidy up and then I'm gonna move on to working on my computer, I think, today. And then I'm gonna do something tomorrow. I try to do a little bit of something every single day. That's just what works for me and I'm kind of getting a late start. Had a hard time getting going. I don't know about you, but I have those days where I just can't get going. But now that I've kind of got this going, it was like my snowball task. Like Now I'm like, okay, okay, I can keep going. So I'm gonna finish this tidying up just this little bit and show you all the rooms and then that will be it for today. <laughs> About what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad, you feel it too. Nothing to hide, falling in love.
Okay, let's start the tour over now. I'd say this took me about 20, maybe 25 minutes. So, like I said, I did not do the floors. I didn't vacuum, sweep, mop, do any of that. This was just to tidy up, get everything off the floor back where it belongs. I found all my nativity pieces for their little, little people thing. This thing is so precious. I love it. You press the top. Isn't that sweet? There is not stuff everywhere. I'll take you this way first this time. Oh, I see a lone piece of broccoli. <laughs> they will get that put away. Just tidied up in here. I have had to really um, pull back on my perfection tendencies. As they say, when you're raising kids, not only are you teaching them things, but they are teaching you. You're growing as a person, and I have had to let go. This is just what it is right now. I don't have homes for these things yet. This is being used for something else. Um, but anyways, our kids are teaching us just as much <laughs> as we are trying to teach them. So I've had to let go of a lot of perfection tendencies. I'm sure other people can relate to that. Here's part of my village. I'm going to unbox my Pyrex set for you guys here soon, not today. And then here's our kitchen. I just wiped down the counters, but I have not done my floors. I'm going to show you guys my early Christmas gift from my husband, but not today either. But just wanted to show you guys, and I'm getting ready to sit right here and work on some stuff on my computer. Forgot to put this away. But here it is, guys. Just a good 15, 20 minute power cleaning. Got my sink cleaned out. This just feels so much better for when my kids come home from school and the chaos that ensues from that and after school activities and dinner. So it just feels good to have this reset and ready to get absolutely destroyed later, so. I wanted to share a fun little update with you guys. We just took down those home letters that were hanging here. I'll pop it up on the screen what it used to look like. And my husband and I got this picture when we celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary back in October and it took several weeks for it to come in. So we just got this and got it hung and we are so excited to have this piece. It just kind of really made this room feel a little more grand and it's the blues that we decorate with all in our house. I absolutely love it. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's always fun to see just even like a piece of art, how it transforms a room. And I just love how it ties kind of our whole downstairs together with all the blues that are used throughout the room. So just had to share that fun little update with you guys. <laughs>
here I am just getting my sheets back on the bed straight out of the washer using that sheet hack that I share with you guys all the time where you put your sheets back on damp out of the washer and let them air dry saves you time and energy from using your dryer and it smells amazing and your sheets come out nice crisp and wrinkle free so you should give it a try but that's what I'm doing before I move on into Dallas's room to start going through the hand-me-down clothes All right, now that my sheets are drying, let's tackle the hand-me-down clothing situation. I am gonna share what I do to maybe help you if, if you're looking for a system and wanna know kind of what works for me. This is something that I have done and kind of tweaked over the years to work the best for me. I have three kiddos, I have two boys and a girl, so I am keeping all of my middle child um, clothes for my baby so I had to get a handle on this um, it gotten a little out of hand and so I just wanted to go in and reorganize it once the system is in place it won't be as tedious but on this day I really needed to kind of revamp some things so first things first what you'll need for my system that works for me is in all of your kids closets have some type of bin or basket something to contain the clothes that they outgrow and then if you are saving those clothes for another child what works for me and I have the space is I have three bins and within each bin I'm going to do a one one separate size for each bin I had been having combined sizes as you know we were in the baby phase and all of that but now that we're kind of getting out of those sizes and things like that it's getting more into like 2t 3t 4t it's more you know broad and so it's going to be easier to contain this but I had to pull out the next size up that my child was going to grow into so that's why I am reorganizing everything. I have three totes and then I label them with just a piece of paper and a sharpie marker. That is it. I don't get fancy and it's a very easy system, very easy to maintain and keep up with. So what I'm doing here that's taking me a little bit of extra time is I'm pulling out the next size up. I'm going to hang that or if it didn't fit on a hanger or I ran out of hangers, then I put it in this little drawer organizer from Ikea and then I throw it on the right side of our closet. My son has these two little kind of odd closets, but we use one side for storage and one side for everything that actively we are using and that he is wearing. And so what I'm going through and doing is just getting everything out that he will eventually grow into. Kind of a challenge with my two boys is one was born in the fall and one was born in the spring. So their seasons and the clothing items for those sizes have not added up very well in the baby phases and sizes, but I'm hoping as they stay in a size longer that those are start to kind of level out where more of my middle child's things will fit my baby. So anyway, I'm getting that all organized one other thing that I do I always wash everything make sure it's clean going into these totes but then I will pull it out and rewash it because it's been sitting in storage for a while so I will rewash this stuff so as I put everything in the bins I do not mess with worrying about folding it and making it look pristine and perfect I just don't even mess with it another thing I'm pulling out right there you saw me in that little small tote was training pants because the potty training is on the horizon a little ways down the road but I came across those training pants and I pulled those out if you are in the potty training stage look up training pants you will thank me <laughs> uh, somebody told me about it and I am so glad they did those things were wonderful when going through the potty training stage so what I'm doing here now is pulling everything out I had 3T and 4T together. Now they're going to be in each. They're separate totes. 3T, 4T, and then my son, my middle child, is currently in 5T, so that bin wasn't very full because I'm just now putting things in as he's outgrowing 5T. So there'll always be a bin on the bottom that's probably a little not as full, and that's the size that your child is currently growing out of. I only need three bins right now, and I don't plan to get any more. I'm going to make it work with these three bins because we don't have any more space to add any more to it. Then I put the label, I put the sign for the sizes, one on top and one on the outside, so that as you see when you're looking into the closet, I can see the label on the outside, or I can see it from the top, and that is what I do. 
Pretty simple, pretty easy. Let me know in the comments below, do you have another system that you love that works for you? I am always looking for new systems and new organizational things constantly. So I would love to know in the comments below what works for you, what do you do, and how do you store your hand-me-downs? much for watching today. I hope you are leaving this video with tons of motivation to go tackle your tidying up your house or tackling those hand-me-downs. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And you know I never leave you empty-handed. I have another video for you to keep on giving you motivation to get things done off your to-do list today. So head to that video after this. And I've got to get Dallas down for his nap. He is tired and ready to lay in those fresh sheets. So until next week, friends, take care. My friends and